in many of my videos, I have thought about things pretty deeply and have come up with a conclusion that I share. And I'm, you know, usually somewhere between 60 and 98% certain in my position. Still agnostic about it, but, you know, approaching being Gnostic. In this case, though, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm having this thing I'm thinking about, and I thought I'd toss it out there and see what y'all think as well. And this has to do with buying local. Everybody tells you to buy local, how important it is, the, the farmer's markets and all this stuff. Clearly, some of that is a push by, I don't know, United Nations or whomever, the, the building the community and having people not use fossil fuel, fuels by traveling, keeping them closer, getting them to just be in tighter little groups. But I, I don't really know if I am opposed to it or if I'm for it. Now, some of the reasons I do choose to buy local is if I want somebody to stay in business. And for example, it's about an hour and 45 minutes for me from our ranch to where I work. And I go in a day or two a week usually. And that's a, that's a long drive. There are only two gas stations for the biggest portion of that. And one of them's a little rinky-dink roadside place that yeah, I'm guessing is barely hanging on. I want them to stay there. One of these days, I'm going to forget to fill up in my farm tank and uh, I'm going to get down there and I'm going to need diesel or gas, depending on which vehicle. And I'm going to wish that they were in business. So I'll go and spend 25, 30 cents more per gallon to buy gas or diesel from them because I want them to stay in business. Eh, there's a reason to shop local. Another reason to shop local would be uh, you want to support somebody you care about, your friend. Uh, and I and I do that in some ways. It's partially for the former reason, the same as the gas station. We get our eggs from a neighbor and you know they have their own chickens and, and cows and their, their own farm or their own ranch. And if I'm getting the eggs from them, and I've been doing that for many years, then when times get tough and maybe I can't get them from the grocery store, they'll remember that I'm a longtime loyal customer that always pays on time. And I'll be more likely to be able to continue trading with them. So I think that's a good reason. But I don't think either of those reasons that I'm talking about are why people want us to buy local. Now, now here's a, one of the reasons I think they do is they want to support America. They say, don't buy from the Chinese, buy from the United States. So they want me to spend a lot more money to get equivalent quality from some union worker who's making 40 bucks an hour working 38 hours a week in the Midwest. They want me to pay way more for an equivalent quality product just so that I can mess the Chinese over because they're taking over the world or because they score better on math tests or, or whatever reason. I don't, not, I, don't, I don't think that's a good reason. Now, what about this reason? What about Chinese? Many of them are essentially slave labor. They've got a crappy government that's basically running things and they're working for you know, barely making it wages. They don't have a choice not to go into work. They have to or they'll be killed. And if I buy products that they make, I'm essentially supporting slave labor. Okay. Well, that makes me take pause. I don't want to support that. And then I think, will they be better off if I don't? Will some Chinese person working in some factory for 18 cents a day, which is just enough rice to feed their family, if I quit buying that product, is that really going to help that person's life? I don't know. Will it? If I don't do that, will the Chinese government then say, oh, hey, we thought this whole Marxist, socialism, communism thing would work great. Turns out it didn't. Shepard didn't buy a widget. So therefore, um, hey, everybody, why don't you be free? And we have a free market thing like the United States used to be many years ago, um, or mostly free market. Let's, let's try that. Let's do like Hong Kong. Um, is that going to happen? No, that person's going to lose their job. Now they've got no way to make the, their rice money. So that's a, a, a thing I contemplate. And then I think... How much should I ignore the things that matter most to me, the things that I value most? I care about price, quality, customer service. I'm kind of under customer service, I'd put friendliness, attentiveness, helping me get the right thing, getting it there on time, standing behind it, all that kind of stuff. How much do I value all that? And how much do the proponents of buy local want me to spend extra in order to buy local? Now, I can see if it's a dozen eggs and it's $4 to buy local from the local farmer or $3.50 to buy from the big box international chain grocery store, 
spending after extra 50 cents to get a better uh, quality egg. Oh, that makes good sense. I can get it just as quickly. Okay, that makes sense. But if you want me to buy clothing, a t-shirt that costs 40 bucks from the United States or an Indonesian t-shirt that I can get for seven or eight bucks, that's the same quality. And I know there's a bunch of junk. Boy, oh boy, do I know there's a bunch of junk. People like me who are tightwads drive the price down. I get that. But other countries can also make some quality stuff. And if you get into that category, it's still a lot less expensive than the United States. So how much am I going to sacrifice the things that I value? Price, quality, customer service, et cetera. I don't know. Now, let me ask you this. One other thing to ponder, and I don't have an answer to any of this. I'm still pondering it myself. Here's another question. If the United States continues down the track that it's going, when I say the United States, I mean, well, what the United States is. It's a government. If that government continues driving all of us who live in the, the America, North American area in between the United States jurisdictional lines, if they keep messing stuff up, heading it in a very socialist Marxist direction, and in time, we are basically the same as the Chinese. We're working without getting paid for it. We're sharing you know, communal property. If we're basically China, should I then still buy local? What if by this time, Mexico has become very free market? And let's say they're without a government, uh, without a state, and things are just going beautifully there, and they're offering the same product. You still want me to buy local here in the U.S.? Or do you want me to buy from the freer place? If I buy here in the U.S. and the U.S. government's treating its citizens like the Chinese citizens are getting treated, then that wouldn't mean we're intellectually consistent, would it? If we're boycotting places that have crappy governments or the crappiest governments, seems like I should move to Mexico uh, for my purchasing needs. Yeah, what do you think? Is any of that illogical? Is any of that unreasonable? What are your conclusions? What are some of the factors you're thinking about that I haven't even included that would matter in this discussion? Thanks for listening. Please subscribe.